hi everyone. I am Dr. Cheryl Dykstra. I am the lab director for the mainstream organic chemistry labs at Penn State. I also am the assistant department head for undergraduate outreach. So if you have any questions about your tour or something that you saw that we didn't quite cover in our virtual tour of Whitmore Building, then please feel free to send me an email. You can find my information on the Penn State directory and during the Spend a Summer Day chemistry programming. Welcome to Whitmore, the home of Penn State undergraduate chemistry lab program. All of our undergraduate chemistry labs are located in this building. We do have an additional building that belongs to Penn State Chemistry, the research building. We won't be taking a tour of that today, but we figured we would show you all of the instructional spaces that you have the opportunity to take classes in when you're here. This beautiful building has been recently renovated. It underwent a $34 million renovation in 2016. Um, so it's relatively new and it's beautiful and we're going to show you all of the gorgeous lab spaces and all of the equipment that we have for your use as an undergraduate as part of our chemistry program. We are now in one of our freshman general chemistry lab spaces. This room can hold 24 students at a time supervised by one teaching assistant. Our freshman chemistry classes come in a variety of flavors. We have freshman chemistry lab one, which is called chem 111, and freshman chemistry lab two, which is called chem 113. We have our chemistry majors take special versions of these courses. When you're registering as a freshman, make sure that you ask your NSO advisor about the chem 111 freshman research initiative, which we offer as part of LEAP, and we also offer that in the fall semester. We also have a Chem 111 major section specifically dedicated to our freshman chemistry majors. When you move on to Chem 113 in the spring semester, we just started this past spring semester a Chem 113 major section, but we also have a variety of other flavors of Chem 113 in addition to the mainstream version of the course. Those include food science, biological chemistry, material science, and even a food chemistry class. We have a dedicated kitchen that our students use to do food chemistry related laboratory experiments. In addition to these labs that you see here, we have 10 of these labs that are almost identical in nature. Across the hall, we have a multi-purpose room that is going to hold special projects. And it also has a broadcasting system, so that way all of the classrooms can kind of hear the same pre-lab lecture talk at the same time. So we have lots of really cool technology and innovations embedded within each one of these general chemistry laboratory rooms. Welcome to the second floor of Whitmore. This is our organic chemistry laboratory that is taken by the large um, portion of students that need or require organic chemistry as part of their major in Eberly College of Science. This space is very, very large, as you can see, and holds up to 128 students at a single point in time. That, however, is broken down into smaller subsections of students, and 16 students are assigned to only one TA, and that is what we're going to show you in a little bit. In this laboratory space, we are fully state-of-the-art. We have scales, we have hoods for distributing our chemicals, we have waste hoods, and we have really nice um, chemical storage cabinets to make sure that students and teaching assistants are kept safe at all times. This is one of our organic chemistry bays, as we call them, in which 16 students are sequestered with one TA. We have six foot flow hoods that are pulling at an OSHA approved flow rate and two students share this hood. So each student gets their own space to do chemistry and each student gets their own drawer. In organic chemistry, we do macro scale chemistry. And so each drawer is filled with probably about $1,000 worth of glassware um, from Erlenmeyer's to beakers to round bottom flasks. This drawer is a student's drawer for the entire semester, and the student keeps a lock on it to make sure that their chemicals and materials are safe for the duration of the semester, because we do have a lot of students that utilize this space. In this laboratory, we have two courses that are using our hoods. We have Chem 213W, 
which is the course that I run, and we have Chem 203, which is run by Dr. Kyle Schmidt. Chem 213W is part of an organic chemistry sequence consisting of organic lecture 1, Chem 210, organic lecture 2, Chem 212, and organic chemistry laboratory, a two credit, one semester course, Chem 213W. Chem 203 is part of a two course sequence. Chem 202, which is Fundamentals of Organic Chemistry, and then Chem 203, which is a lecture lab combination course. In that class, there are 14 students per TA, and students also share a hood and have the same access to glassware and chemistry. You might be thinking, well, as a chemistry major, what can I expect in terms of special treatment on the second floor of Whitmer? Well, we're going to take you across the hall to a special lab dedicated just to our chemistry majors, where they are sequestered and they do their own special chemistry in their own special space. Welcome to our Advanced Organic Chemistry Lab. This space is dedicated to chemistry majors taking one of two different classes. Chem 213M is a spring semester sophomore level organic lab dedicated to our chem majors, and Chem 431W is a fall semester advanced organic chemistry lab um, that students take in typically their junior or their senior year. This laboratory space holds 32 total students, again 16 students in each bay. This laboratory space is set up with state-of-the-art organic chemistry equipment to give students the feel of what it would be like to do organic chemistry as a graduate student or working in industry. Hoods are fully equipped with vacuum manifold systems and a student has this hood for the entire semester and they do not share their space with anyone else except for one additional student working in the hood area. But again, the drawers are equipped with probably $1,000 worth of glassware, um, and there is a lot of additional equipment available in this space compared to the mainstream organic lab across the hall. Welcome to the special projects room that is just off of the advanced organic chemistry lab that we had just looked at. In this space, there is a lot of state-of-the-art equipment available just for chemistry major use. We have automated column chromatography instruments and machines. We have a microwave synthesizer and we have a variety of rotary evaporators for students to use when they do their organic chemistry. All of these instruments are used in industry by scientists um, in pharmaceutical areas. We also have two separate project hoods that Dr. Masters uses in her specialty Chem 497 course. Um, she has a partnership with a pharmaceutical uh, company. The pharmaceutical chemistry class does a lot of project-based chemistry that the students then have the opportunity to go to that pharmaceutical company and do some tours and make connections with real scientists. Welcome to the Organic Chemistry Instrument Room and Learning Center. This space is utilized by all students enrolled in our Organic Chemistry Lab courses. At Penn State Chemistry, we believe that students should have hands-on access to using instrumentation, building valuable skills for use in 400-level labs and in industry. In this space, we have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of instruments. We have now five Proton NMRs. We have two IRs. We have a GC mass spec. And around the corner, we have two gas chromatographs. Students use all of these instruments assisted by undergraduate um, teaching assistants and they get their own data on the molecules that they make. In the space behind me, this is our organic learning center where all of our teaching assistants hold their office hours dedicated specifically to organic lab students. It's a great space for students to come and get the help they need with their organic chemistry courses. Also on our second floor of Whitmore, we have a chemistry resource room where chemistry students and students in other courses can come for office hours. Pretty much any teaching assistant in any chemistry course, whether it be 100 level to 400 level, holds office hours in this space. It's well equipped with tables and whiteboards for students to work out problems with their teaching assistant or learning assistant. We also have on the other side of this wall a dedicated computer lab for student use who are taking our chemistry courses. 
We believe that students and faculty should be well connected. So our faculty offices are down this hallway and students are free to come and go as they please during the, their posted faculty office hours. Eventually this hallway connects down to our undergraduate chemistry office where students can go for help with class registration, dropping and adding, and any other type of logistical thing that you may need as a chemistry major or just as a student enrolled in chemistry classes. Welcome to the third floor of Whitmore. This laboratory space contains instruments and classroom spaces dedicated for use by our analytical and physical chemistry students. This space is managed by Dr. Dan Sykes and Dr. Bratilub Milosilevich. In this space, we have millions of dollars of instrumentation that the students are going to be using in primarily project-based laboratory courses. This side of the lab has things like fluorimeters and UV-Vis instruments and calorimeters um, and LC mass specs and GCs. All of our chemistry students and students enrolled in our physical chemistry classes have access to use these instruments, again, in a hands-on fashion. This space is shared by Chem 457, which is our physical chemistry lab space, and students in our analytical chemistry courses, specifically our 400 level chemistry courses, Chem 423W and Chem 425W. 423W is a spectroscopy class, and 425W is a chromatography and electrochemistry course. We're still on the third floor of Whitmore, but this time we are on the other side of the large room that we just saw. This space is primarily dedicated for use of students enrolled in Chem 227, our analytical chemistry class. However, the space is also utilized by our other physical chemistry and analytical chemistry courses. In those classes, typically there's a pre-lab talk in a lecture area on the other side of that wall, and there is some chemical prep work areas here. In Chem 227, we teach our students valuable skills that are going to be utilized in our 400 level chemistry courses. Dr. Dan Sykes has pioneered a hands-on approach to building small mobile instruments in his SMILE program. Dr. Bratilub Milosilevich is also pioneering a new way of teaching chemistry classes and that's through project-based open-ended uses of instrumentation. All of our students in our physical chemistry lab create posters and do projects and they present them at ACS conferences if the project works out. So this is a very innovative space and there are a lot of really great things available to the students in this class. Our chemistry majors are cohorted together to make sure that we're building community from the first floor up through the third floor. And again, I want to reiterate that we have special sections of general chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical chemistry, and physical chemistry dedicated to our chemistry majors. These experiences are super valuable and provide students with skills and access to instrumentation that makes our program one of the best in the country. And we hope that you will come and experience chemistry with us at Penn State.